For this other thing, I'd like to share the inverse of the hyperbolic cost function, which can be derived by using the hyperbolic cost function. We can first let y be equal to the inverse of hyperbolic cost function for easy writing purpose. And we know that for any function f, if we substitute the inverse and we should obtain x itself if f is a function of x, which means that we have e to the power of y plus e to the power of negative y divided by 2 is equal to x. We times the entire equation by 2 and we should obtain e to the power of y plus e to the power of negative y is equal to 2x. Since this is to the power of negative, which means that is equal to 1 over e to the power of y. And we times the entire equation by e to the power of y, we should obtain e to the power of y square plus 1 is equal to 2x times e to the power of y. Rearrange the equation, we obtain e to the power of y square minus 2x e to the power of y plus 1 is equal to 0. Up to this stage, we can apply the quadratic formula. Recall that we have x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. For this case, the unknown here is e to the power of y. Then we just have to obtain the value accordingly. So we have a is equal to 1, b equal to negative 2x, and c is equal to positive 1, which means that we have negative b and negative 2x, negative, negative, positive. So we have 2x plus minus square root of b squared, which is 4x squared, minus 4 times 1 times 1, which is 4, divided by 2 times 1, which is 2. And we should abandon the negative because for the properties of a function, in order to be a function, we have to make sure that when we apply the vertical line test, we should cut only one point. So we have only the positive and we should abandon the negative. And now let's simplify. We have 2x plus square root of, this is 4 and this is negative 4. So common factor 4. Square root of 4 is 2. So we left x squared minus 1 divided by 2. Simplify again. So we have x plus square root of x squared minus 1. And we just have to loan both sides. So we have loan e power bring down and become y loan e loan x plus square root of x squared minus 1. So this is equal to ln e is equal to 1. And y is what we denoted here, which is cos inverse x. So cos inverse x is equal to ln x plus square root of x squared minus 1. And hence with that. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. See you.